And there is a new push by Alec Baldwin's legal team to get the charges in the Rust movie set shooting thrown out again. This after a dramatic Friday in the New Mexico courtroom. Now, last week, the judge denied a different motion from Baldwin's lawyers asking the court to throw out the involuntary manslaughter indictment. That judge also ruling Friday that armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed will not have to testify at Baldwin's trial. Remember, she was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter earlier this year. So let's bring in NBC News correspondent Dana Griffin, who has been following in this case, Dana. Uh, so wasn't there a motion that was dismissed on Friday already about this? What's different about that motion than the motion that we saw argued today? Yeah, so there were two motions. That one, the defense says that the state couldn't prove a criminal case. The judge threw that out. So this one, they are saying that the state intentionally destroyed evidence because the gun that fired that fatal round was destroyed during that FBI testing. Well, the state argues that even though that gun was destroyed, there is still it doesn't deprive the defense of being able to cross-examine when this goes to trial. But the defense says, hey, you didn't even take photos of those internal pieces so that we could at least see if maybe there was damage or modification. And even the forensic examiner who testified during Hannah Gutierrez Reed's trial, who said that there were no modifications or damage, today says that he had to actually amend his report because there was a modification. He believes possibly that was already there before the gun um, wound up on set, not something that would have caused the gun to fire, but there were these diagonal markings that they couldn't figure out how they got there. So that's something that the defense really played up during the, the hearing today. So the judge said she's going to make her decision in writing on Friday. The last time she did this, that decision came down at the very end of the day. So, Gotti, you and I may be talking this time on Friday to figure out what is going to happen in this case. Yeah, regardless, the trial hasn't even started, and it sounds like there's some new questions here. Uh, we mentioned the, the ruling that the armor does not have to testify. Does that mean that she will not testify, or does that mean that she still possibly can take the stand? You got it's the latter. She could possibly still take the stand. The prosecutor could, could, act, could call her, but the judge has made it clear if she takes a stand and pleads the fifth, which she did during her pretrial mm -hmm. interview, the judge is not going to hold her in contempt because she said Hannah Gutierrez Reed has made it very clear she does not want to cooperate and the judge does not want to hold a mini trial within a trial. They're already trying to move this through really quickly, so they don't want any more delays. Gotti? Okay, so let's say the appeals don't work, the last ditch efforts are all exhausted. Like, when is the, the trial supposed to start here? So jury selection is supposed to last a day, July 9th. The trial is expected to start July 10th and run through the 19th. And then the case goes to the jury. And depending on how long it takes, we knew in, Hannah, in Hannah's case, it took a few hours. In Baldwin's case, we'll have to see. Got it. Dana, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.